LeBron James turns 35 years old tomorrow. Luka Doncic, 20 years old, playing in his 100th NBA regular season game. It is crazy to think that at 29 points per game, it's the highest scoring average ever for a 20-year-old in the NBA as Porzingis gets Dallas on the board. Here's James, who last night had a season-high 16 assists, beats JaVale McGee. About a third of James' shot attempts this year come from three-point range. He's taken more threes than he ever has in his career. Here's a line. Try to extend him and make him work bringing the ball to the floor. It's the third time these teams have played this year. Another great pass by James and the finish by Anthony Davis. 6-2 start for the Lakers. Two and a half minutes in here at Staples. Avery Bradley for three. It's good. Until your shot comes, do the things that you put on the on the floor to do, and he's doing that defensively. Here's Porzingis from outside. Cans a three. LeBron, great no look pass underneath to the game for the slam. And 21 and 10, their best start since 2014. They're 12 and 3 on the road. Doncic with a beautiful pass, and Powell can jump with the best of them. Powell didn't get the call. And then a steal by Hardaway. Green tried to foul him, couldn't. And Hardaway slams it down on the other end. Opponents had 30.15 assists, triple doubles. Seth Curry on the floor, gets the Florida to go. And he ties the game at 11. Dallas yet to commit a foul here in the first quarter while the Lakers have committed four. Here's Danny Green from outside, switching home at three. Having a knockdown spot up shot is Danny Green on the floor right now. Doncic on the board, his first points of the night after an 0 for 3 start. And here's Anthony Davis freaking down the floor, gets the slam. And LeBron James with his 9,000th career assist. Fifth leading shot blocker in the league. Here's Doncic, got past one guy, and the layup is good. Doncic now with four points. I've said it before, he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. I mean, he's, a, he's an outstanding player, and he's confident. Like, been a great shooter for them all year. Very important player. I don't know that the uh, the Mavs have the depth that the Lakers do. Quarter, but his team down four. Rondo gets to the rim. Anthony Davis with the follow throwdown with 1.6. Justin Jackson gets past Kuzma and lays it in with the left hand. Jackson, third year out of North Carolina. LeBron James sets the screen for Rondo. Here's a lob to Dwight Howard with the slam. Dwight Howard. DeLon Wright, nifty move by Wright, the Los Angeles native. Very capable three-point shooter at 37%. Went for the two and didn't get it. And look at Penny Smith climb the ladder. Here's James, just two points so far. Penetrates, lobs it up there for his fifth assist as Howard stuffs it. With Finney Smith on him. Backing him down. Oh, what a pass by James. Soaring for the slam is Howard. But his team leading by nine. They leave right, wide open. And finally, on the switch, Caruso is guarding Doncic. Porzingis up top. Good on a three, back-to-back -back triples by Dallas. Porzingis, of course, didn't play last year after injuring his knee midway through 2018, was named an All-Star that year. As Davis gets into the paint, gets the bounce, he has a team high, nine points for the Lakers. Two threes in the game, eight points overall. Caruso into the paint, finds Caldwell Pope, stepping back and nailing a three to answer for L.A. Timeout, Rick Carlisle. And Caruso driving. Finds Howard for another dunk. And the fact, again, he's playing through injury. I mean, there was talk that, hey, he's going to miss some time after the injury on Christmas Day. No, he plays a back-to-back. -back. Here's Davis again. They cannot keep him away from the rim. You could say the same for LeBron is that how, whether the Lakers make it all the way. Like if they don't get to the conference finals as uh, Finney Smith hits, they're going to hold that against James and Davis when comparing them with some of the all-time great Laker players. Another great pass by James to Dwight Howard. We thought we'd be talking about a Hall of Famer in this game, LeBron James, but it's another one. Future Hall of Famer Dwight Howard that's getting a lot of conversation as Brokaw. Like, these guys are protecting the future of the NBA as Anthony Davis gets another basket from LeBron James. Well, that's where you get everyone. You have to 
you know, be experienced, be a veteran, and play through it. Porzingis fouls McGee, count the basket. And Doncic picked up by James. Here's Finney Smith, and the three on target. Hard to tell if LeBron just lost it or if Finney Smith blocked it. Berea, reverse layup is good. The ability to make plays and pick and roll action was big. And, and in that 2011 run, remember, they were a problem for the Lakers. They're missing only five in their history prior to that. Finney Smith with two threes. Good read. Green in the paint, able to collect. Nobody came to him. And he has that soft touch to knock down the mid-range jumper. He's with Cleveland and more NFL jobs to come. Will Urban Meyer take a shot at coaching in the National Football League for the first time? Berea turns 35 years old tomorrow. Four-time MVP, three-time finals MVP and champion. Here's James McGee. Oh, what a play by McGee. Got a rave about the contribution that the Lakers are getting from the center position between Dwight Howard and Jell McGee. They are fulfilling their role. McGee there with the rebound. Nice pass to Bradley. How about the Lakers executing 22 assists? As you, you just appreciated, and I'm sure Kobe will be the first to say, well done. Here in the West, ended a four-game skid last night in Portland. Here's McGee with a timer at three, sweeps through the lane and knocks it down over Porzingis. Two centers for the Lakers are 11 of 11 from the floor. Here's Perea, hit a three a moment ago, and got another one. Here's James, only five points on the night for James. He'll try a three and hit it. Trying to keep that streak of 959 in a row, double figure scoring going. Doncic to the bucket, 14 points now for Luka. Doncic lost for Powell. Terrific pass. And the timer down to five. Berea trying to draw the foul on Davis. He sent Anthony Davis to the deck. he got the layup. And just his eighth game of the season, called on to play in the second half with all the injuries as uh, the three goes for Caldwell Pope. Wow, Porzingis from way out, about five feet behind the NBA three-point line. No, there's no backing down in his game. Great play by Caldwell Pope, picking off Doncic. Caruso running the floor and gets the layup. Eight points but 12 assists. Here's Kleba from outside. He can catch fire in a hurry. He's a 39% three-point shooter. Doncic and Porzingis on the bench to start the fourth. Porzingis with five fouls as Rondo scores at the rim. Caldwell Pope, and you better get out on him. So Dallas got the stop, and they get the bucket on the other end. Shooter, but really, that's just from a percentage standpoint. He doesn't take as many as Caldwell Pope does. Seth Curry, here's another guy who can heat up. Shot clock at three. LeBron will hoist the three and hit it. So that streak of double figures games continues at 9-6. He's not letting them get open looks in the paint area. Hard screen set by Kleba. Here's James who has 12 assists and 11 points. Fires to KCP and Caldwell Pope hits a three. That is his fourth triple of the night. For seven from the floor after a 24-point game last night. DeLon Wright fouled by Kuzma, puts it in, and one. Start of the second half. Anthony Davis through the lane, able to hit over Porzingis. And LeBron James just 3 of 10, 11 points, lowest scoring game of the season for him. Danny Green from three, they haven't needed James's production as a scorer tonight. Dallas to 36% shooting.